Hey guys, Keith here again. I wanted to share with you a stat that I just read from George Barnett says that 61% of senior pastors say that youth ministry is one of the top priorities in their church. However, this doesn't always reflect the tenure of the youth pastor. So the average stay of a youth pastor in America is around 18 months, some a lot shorter, some a lot longer, but they've said that, that uh, youth leader networks actually increase the longevity of youth leaders in their churches. Now, what does that have to do with us? We are, if you saw my video yesterday, we are in the midst of a virtual fundraising push for Cutting Edge Ministries. We actively invest in youth leaders through our youth leader network. And I wanted you to hear from two youth pastors from our local church network here. And our aim is this upcoming school year to increase our church network and impact to church youth leaders of a thousand, a community of a thousand youth leaders this year. And in doing so, we aim to train 10,000 student missionaries as they use our training to mobilize their students to share the gospel in their public schools. So I want you to hear directly from these two youth pastors and their testimonies about how Cutting Edge Ministries has impacted them. So take a look. Hey, my name is Ben and I'm a student ministries pastor in Northern Virginia. And I just want to share a little bit how helpful uh, Edge Clubs has been to me and to my ministry. You know, so often you're wondering, um, is what we're doing making a difference in youth ministry? Does any of it matter, right? As you play games or put on an event, you're wondering, um, what difference does this make in students' lives? But where I've been so helped and so challenged by Edge Clubs is it pushes us to say, no, we want to be a gospel advancing ministry so that everything that we're doing is saying, yes, we are making a difference. Um, what we do matters because it's pushing the gospel forth in the lives of these students. And so it's given us some, some really helpful tools that we've been able to use in our student ministry, uh, such as setting up a goal. And so uh, this year, for the first year, we have goals in our ministry about how we're going to reach students and making sure that, that we are sharing the gospel with students. Um, it's given us tools like teaching our students their two-minute testimony to make sure they know how to share their faith with others in a really simple, easy way that says, yeah, Jesus has transformed my life and I want Jesus to transform your life as well. And so uh, I'm just so grateful because it's making sure that we are making a difference here. You know, God is moving in this generation. And we don't want to miss it because we waste our time doing unimportant things. And so I'm so grateful for Edge Club, uh, how it's helping our ministry make sure that we are pushing the gospel forward and for uh, the work that they are doing and the way that it's making a difference in our ministry. Hey there, my name is Justin and I'm a student ministry director and this network has been such a blessing. Um, one of the things that I love so much is when we uh, are able to meet together uh, as youth leaders and just bounce ideas off one another and, and talk about how we can be equipping students to share the gospel with their peers. Uh, you know, many ideas that I've gotten have uh, come from this network and we've been able to implement them into our ministry and I'm really just grateful to say that we have uh, such a student ministry culture that uh, our students have a heart for the lost, desire to share the gospel with their friends who don't know Christ and I'm just thankful for other youth leaders that uh, helped us get to that place and, and shared some resources to help get our students thinking in those terms.